Hello and welcome to my studio. I'm Noemi from Pigeon Art and today we are doing an easy video. I had my booster shot yesterday so I'm not feeling amazing. I'm not feeling awful either so that's great. But I still wanted to get my video out tomorrow. <laughs> this is my last chance to do it so <laughs> easy video it is. You may have noticed that I'm wearing a light jumper because this is the first time in months that I'm actually filming on a day when it's not a million degrees or super humid. Today I want to make some jewelry out of my button collection and some hemp cord that my sister bought me many many years ago for my birthday <laughs> when I've never used. My fingers are a little bit stiff so we'll see how hard it is to <laughs> do this. Anyway, straight into it. Okay, so I'm looking at my button collection and the, the colours that jump out at me, big surprise, are these ones over here um, but I also have I bought this in an op shop for 80 cents I can't believe it 80 cents for all these buttons so I might use some of the white ones as well and if I can find more of these little colors oh look that's so pretty that's so pretty oh these came off the shirt that I used to um, make other jewelry so it might work really well with that a necklace. I'm thinking just gonna do a simple bracelet. If I'm using those colors, what color cord do I want to use? The one that jumps out at me is this one. Yellow. Yellow and my skin tone just do not match. I just, I don't like it. I think orange is in the same camp. Maybe pink could work? Or white. Well, off-white. I was wondering if it would plush because they're both sort of off whites, but it's not too bad. I'll just check this one as well. Oh, so pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Do we want a contrast or do we want a matte? Well, match. Go with similar colors. I'm just going to make it really big because I always cut it at the end, but you can't <laughs> add more. I'm gonna fold that in half. I'm gonna find which button's gonna be on the end. Probably a bigger one like this or that. And I'll make a loop that fits. Yeah, so that, about that big and a little bit more so I can have room for the knot. And before I tighten this, does it fit? Yes, it does. Maybe it's too big. It'll probably come off my wrist now. Let's see if I can just tighten it up a bit more. Uh, my fingers just do not work <laughs> very well today <laughs> and uh, apparently I'm a little bit shaky but we're getting there we're getting there so okay this is better okay, I'd rather it be just that tiny bit too tight no that's good okay first things first let me get my unpicker off there's one not the one I usually use Oh, it's right here! No, oh, okay. It's <laughs> gonna be a video of how I struggle to do normal things. Ah! Oh, <laughs> let's move all that stuff that I'm not using somewhere else. Here. Back in here. I'm using these guys and maybe a few more flat ones of these. And we'll move them. I just love playing with buttons. <laughs> Alright, I've been filming for 10 minutes and we've gotten nowhere. So <laughs> this is going to be fun to edit. That's much better. Okay, so where was I? I was trying to get these off. I will do that off camera, I think. So I've got six of these ones. Um, I've got a few more, but I think that'll be enough. And this one has to be on the end because that's the one that's, whose size is there. I just don't know how I'm going to do this. I've decided I will keep this one. I think it's just so beautiful. And I'm guessing this is... <laughs> oh, clumsy. I'm guessing this is the way it's supposed to um, be facing outwards. But I actually prefer this way. It's just not the style I'm going for here. And I guess because it's just the one of this one, I might put that one in the middle. So... And then I can also layer these. Yeah, something like that would be kind of cute too. At least. 
two there. Um, do I have any more of that one? Probably, I didn't actually pull these all out. Didn't want to get them mixed up with the others. Oh, I just love these clear ones. Maybe I should try it with the clear ones. Oh, it's Peter Alexander. Hmm. That button alone is probably worth like a hundred bucks. Is that going to be far too long for my wrist? Probably. How about I take this out and this one out? Probably need a bit of contrast, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Let's just give this a go. Just knot it here, right behind it. Would it work better if I threaded this into a needle? Ooh. Just force it. <laughs> yes. We're in. <laughs> now, this one. Oh, I've got no strength. What are my other options? This isn't going to work. Go for bigger buttons. Oh, I know what I have. Oh, that could work. That could work. Where is it though? So the needle wasn't really working, but I found this uh, wire in my stash of um, beads. This isn't going to cut. Oh, I did. This is a lot thinner than the needle, so hopefully it'll work. I don't know if I'll be able to do both at once, but let's give it a go anyway. Oh, yeah. No worries. Whatsoever. I don't know if I like this yet. <laughs> and one. Like that. And then I'll do the opposite with the other one. So I'm using all four holes. Which I couldn't do in the one before because the one underneath only had two holes. So. Yeah, this one's going to move around if I don't do a knot. So I have to. probably have done it with this would have been a bit more contrast maybe instead of doing those kinds of knots I could do this kind of knot this is a learning exercise for the future one that I'm going to do which will be the real one that I wanted to do <laughs> and this guy okay I don't recommend going with clear ones you can see everything that's happening in the back there. With your knots and stuff. For future ones, I'm gonna have to just stick to four hold buttons. They just don't move at all. These ones are no good, just terribly annoying. <laughs> like I've run a marathon. Better fit. <laughs> yeah, it'll fit. All right, let's just quickly make sure that's fine. That is a good spot for it. Now, I'm thinking. I'm going to do these knots so they don't move anymore. You know what, I probably will wear that. <laughs> I quite like it. <sighs> I can't believe we're done. It's only 45 minutes after I started. You know what, that's not a good idea. Let's take it off and then cut it off. <laughs> I don't need a big gash out of my wrist. I've already stabbed myself with the unpicker on my finger today. So that's enough. That's enough stabbing for two days with getting a needle yesterday and everything. Now, a little tip. We used to use clear nail polish, I think, when we did our beading. It just helps it stay there. I don't know if I still have clear nail polish though. I mean, I don't know if I still have nail polish at all. Let me hide the mess with my body. So I had a quick look and I can't find any nail polish, but 
I'm not surprised. I did do a clean out of my bathroom and I haven't used nail polish in years. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this chaotic, if somewhat exhausting video. Uh, two things I learned today, the types of buttons I need to use and the colors. So I'll try and go for more contrast, either with the string or the buttons. And I know how not to use this button, this type of button. The other thing I learned was that it's fiddly and really hard on stiff and sore fingers from the Pfizer. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like, it really helps me out. I upload every Sunday with art, DIY and sewing videos, so I hope to see you then.